Hello everyone, this is Dr. Sonam Aruda, Assistant Professor, LJ Integrated MBA. Welcome you all again to the session Banking and Insurance. Today we are going to start with our module 4. In today's session, we are going to discuss about the types of insurance organization, whereas in further session, we are going to cover the insurance contract. So let us start with the insurance organization. Now, when we talk about the different type of insurance organization, we basically classified them into seven different types. The first one is self-insurance. The second one is individual insurance. The third one is partnership insurance. The fourth one is joint stock company. The next one is mutual companies, cooperative insurance organization and state insurance. Now have a look at the self-insurance. Now when we talk about the self-insurance, it is when a person or business does not take out any third party insurance. So basically this particular type of insurance is totally against the principle of insurance because here we are not going to transfer our risk. So we can take out the example of health groups. So where there is a combination of four and five people, they take out the insurance of themselves. So this type of insurance is practically not exist. Now the second type of insurance is individual insurance. An individual like any other business can start the business of insurance and work as a insurer provider but again the business of insurance is a very vast business which include the risk at a huge level so it is very difficult for an individual to start a business of an insurance the individual organization has been rarest in this type of business now look at the third type of business it is in the form of partnership so we all are very well aware about the partnership business where more than two person come together to start a business. A partnership fund can also carry out in the business of insurance, but the personal liabilities of the partner in respect of the partnership that is unlimited. So it means when two people or three people come together and start a business of an insurance, their personal liabilities are liable for the risk. And thus it is very risky business that you go for a insurance and partnership. So, Practically, there are very less partnership organization in India which are in the business of insurance. Now look at the fourth type of the company. So when we talk about the joint stock company, the joint stock companies are those which are organized by the shareholder pattern who subscribe the necessary capital to start the business and form for the earning profit from the stockholder who are the real owners of the company. Now. Before we move further, first clear it out that there is a difference between a policy holder and shareholder. Shareholder are those people who invest in the company by issuing the share capital. Whereas policy holders are the person who buy the policy of that particular company. For example, if we talk about LIC. So as a person, if I buy the IP of LIC or buy the shares of LIC, I am the shareholder. Whereas when I buy the policy of LIC, I become the policy holder. So it is not necessary that policy holder and shareholder is a one person. Whereas in some circumstances, I am able to buy the shares of LIC, whereas the policy of LIC. We can go through the distinction and further when we talk about the life insurance business in detail. Now, the management of a company entrusted to a board of director who are they elected by the shareholder from among themselves. Mostly, the business of insurance in India is in the form of joint stock company. Now, the fourth type of a company is a mutual companies. Now, when we talk about the mutual insurance company, these companies are the cooperative association formed for the purpose of effective insurance on the property of its member. So, most of these companies are on the business or in the principle of a corporation. The policy holder were themselves the shareholder. Now, this is the basic distinction between the joint stock company and mutual insurance company. When we talk about joint stock company, the shareholder and policy holders are different people. Whereas in mutual insurance company, the policy holders are the shareholder of the company. We can go with the example of MetLife Insurance. It is one of the very famous mutual insurance company exist in India. Now, look at the another type of companies. So, the cooperative insurance organization are those concerned which are incorporated and registered under the principle of cooperative society X. These concerns are also called as cooperative insurance societies. 
दी सोसाइटी लाइक मोस्ट ऑफ द म्यूचुअल कंपनी आर अ नॉन प्रॉफिट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन नो दिस इज अनदर अगेन डिस्टिंक्शन फॉर दी ज्वाइंट स्टॉक कंपनी नो ज्वाइंट स्टॉक कंपनी इज अ प्रॉफिट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन वेयर एज कॉपरेटिव इंश्योरेंस ऑर्गेनाइजेशन आर द नॉन प्रॉफिट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन दिस एम टू प्रोवाइड इंश्योरेंस प्रोटेक्शन टू इट्स मेंबर एट द लोवेस्ट रीजनेबल प्राइसेस वी कैन टेक द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ एच एस जी सो मोस्ट ऑफ द सेल्फ हेल्प ग्रुप्स इन द you know uh, villages when they are in the business of insurance they come into the category of cooperative insurance organization we can take one example of evergreen uh, health cooperative which is working in the business of medical in india now the very important type of organization which work in india that comes in the category of state insurance organization now state insurance is defined as the insurance which is under the public sector so when we talk about india the insurance business in india is under the state insurance sector we can take the example of lic so lic is in business of life insurance and lic is under the public enterprises it is a government company so most of the stake in lic is the uh, central government so more specifically it can be stated that when government have taken over the insurance business particularly the life insurance it come under the category of state insurance in india the life insurance business was nationalized in year 1956 where is the general insurance or non insurance business were nationalized in 1971 so the most of the insurance provider in india are under the state insurance control so lic is the very good example when we talk about general insurance there are four basic company which is under the gic Although there are companies which is not under the state or insurance and working in India like ICICI Prudential, HDFC MetLife, and many more. So when we talk about the basic structure of companies in India, which are in the business of insurance, most of them either are the state insurance or in the joint stock business or in the form of mutual organization. In this way, we go through the differentiation of companies on the basis of their insurance business. and the final one which is you to remember are three state insurance mutual companies and joint stock company in our next session we discuss about the insurance contract in detail till then keep safe stay home thank you